when you come to LSU, you want to be elite. You want to recruit elite players, and you want to be coached by elite. And uh, the development that our coaching staff has done with these young men has been a great accomplishment. Hello, Tiger fans. I'm Emily Dixon, and you're watching Inside LSU Football, presented by Community Coffee. In this week's episode, we catch you up with the Golden Band from Tigerland, bring you a great film room with breakout linebacker Mike Jones Jr., and we capture all the sights and sounds from Saturday's matchup with Arkansas right here in Death Valley. Tiger fans, settle in. This is Inside LSU Football, presented by Community Coffee. Inside LSU Football presented by Community Coffee, is brought to you each week by the eight partners that represent Team LSU. Cox, the official communications provider of LSU Athletics. McDonald's, official sponsor of the LSU Tigers. Our Lady of the Lake, official health care provider of LSU Athletics. Planet Fitness, official gym partner of the LSU Tigers. Rouse's Markets, official supermarket of LSU Athletics. Hancock Whitney, the official bank of the LSU Tigers. People's Health, the official health plan of LSU Athletics. And by Coca. Cola, official beverage partner of the LSU Tigers. This segment of Inside LSU Football is brought to you each week by Bud Light. One of the most recognizable bands in all of college sports is the LSU Marching Band, which is a group of over 300 students from across the globe that set the tone on game days. We caught up with drumline captain Nick Ashton to get a behind the scenes look at one of the unique pieces of the LSU band. It's been a dream like my whole life, but I, I kind of thought it was just that, like it was just kind of like a dream, you know. My name's Nick Ashton. I'm one of the drumline captains for the Golden Band for Tigerland. Basically like starting out, I have pictures of me playing drums when I was like two years old. And I was playing sports for a while too, but then kind of realized that music could really take me to places that I'd never really imagined. I go to away stadiums and people say, Golden Band for Tigerland, like what? The away crowds appreciate us. I'd say there's so many marching bands across the country. Their, their function is essentially the same. They play music, they hype up the crowd, they support the team. And we do all that, and that's definitely our goal. When you combine that with Tiger football and the culture of Louisiana and the culture of LSU, I don't think there's really anything in America like that. The, the leadership of the band encourages us to be very vocal, very supportive, very energetic, and the music we play, um, the way we play it, um, all those things kind of combine just to be a perfect storm of just of pride and passion for this university and for the football team. We hold ourselves to a higher standard. We're not what we call like a ball cap band. We don't put, you know, baseball caps on in the stadiums. We take our appearance very seriously because that image of what it means to be in Tiger Band and what this organization represents to Louisiana and to the, to the university, to the football team is so special. It's very serious to all of the members to, to uphold that, that standard. Obviously, anytime you get to put on the uniform, for me is just the honor of my lifetime. I mean, I'll, I'll never get to do anything cooler than that again. <laughs> like I just, I love and cherish every single time, whether it's for the smallest pep rally for the national championship, putting on that uniform has been uh, the, the biggest honor of my life. Impressionable memories would be the national championship, obviously. Um, that whole like two, three day process was just like, you were living in this dream simulation of like, what could the best two days of my life feel like? Uh, that was that was the natty for me. So obviously that's got to stick out. The Georgia game in 2018 was incredible. Uh, seeing the fans storm the field and and I have this picture of it that I'll just like always cherish the picture of it. But um, seeing that mass of humanity just like looking straight up at you was like an out of body experience. Like I, I you would never ex like expect to experience something like that. We salute each corner of the field. When we hit that third corner, we my spot my dot on the field exactly lines up with where my parents sit uh, in section 422 about the third row up and I can always see them like every time like I can always tell it's my mom and dad and um, that's like it, it's really emotional for me because uh, I just I've been up there since I was an infant watching you know pregame go down and watching the games and um, to kind of salute all four corners of the stadium is great but that third corner has a really special meaning for me every time.
Go Tigers. <laughs> From there. You need more layers, diagonal layers. I got it, Ron. Thanks. Leave him alone, Dad. Oh, honey, you should use ice blocks instead of cubes. No, no, Bud Light Seltzer goes on top. Diagonal layers. Did you peach chill the Bud Light lemonade? Need more ice. In diagonal layers. I mean, if you're going to do it right. I don't need my hands getting cold. Why don't you try using a plum ski method? Brings out the citrus notes. Dad? Got to crush the ice, son. OK, I know. What's his problem? Right. Whenever packing the cooler really, really matters, there's a Bud Light there. Mi amor. Mm -hmm. Ice cream? Yeah! Okay. Protect your connected devices with advanced security included with Cox Panoramic Wi Fi. The difference is putting in the extra work to get better. The difference is spending the extra hours to get it right. The difference is fighting for the extra yard to get the win. At Delhi DeBosia, we're proud of all the student athletes who get that extra something that makes them tigers. If you've been injured, we're ready to go the extra yard for you. That's the Dudley DeBosier difference. Demand Dudley DeBosier, official partner of LSU Athletics. 444-4444. As humankind faces its most critical challenges yet, the world demands leaders, and LSU is taking up the charge. The research we do here goes everywhere to protect communities threatened by climate change so you can live your life with fewer worries about tomorrow. We're formulating a better way for everyone because at LSU, our calling is humanity. LSU Tigers fans, show your pride with real Tigers gear from the official online store, lsushop.net. You'll find everything a Tigers fan needs, including jerseys, sideline gear, polos, t-shirts, hats, and more. With an awesome selection of over 4,100 products, including official team merchandise from Nike, when it comes to Tigers pride, there's only one place real Tigers fans go, lsushop.net. This segment of Inside LSU Football is brought to you each week by Our Lady of the Lake Children's Health, one of Louisiana's largest pediatric health care networks. Mike Jones Jr. faced off against LSU in the 2019 National Championship as part of the Clemson defense. Now he's making plays in purple and gold and was a key piece to the memorable matchup in Tuscaloosa. So what's been the key for him to find his role in settling in here at LSU? Former LSU Tiger Jacob Hester goes into the film room with Jones to find out. All right, LSU fans, welcome back into the LSU film room brought to you by Community Coffee. This week, we've got linebacker Mike Jones. Mike, welcome to Baton Rouge. I hadn't had a chance to say that to you just yet. How's your time in Baton Rouge been? Man, it's it's been great, man. Uh, from the people to the culture. And go ahead and say it, the, the food. food. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and say it. <laughs> it's been great, man. I, I really love it down here. We're glad to have you here, and we're going to dive into some of Mike's best plays, get his reaction to some of these plays that I think have been fantastic so far on the season. And last week, we'll get started here in Tuscaloosa. This was a play that I saw from the sidelines. It was one of my favorite plays in the game. We're bringing pressure here. And your thought process here is a couple of different things because all right, you're, you're blitzing on a linebacker, but you also know you've got Damone who is playing off of you, right? You've got to do whatever you got to do to get inside this rusher, but you set him up really nice. And as a running back, right, there's so much space here. Yeah. And I really, I'm in no man's land because I know what you're trying to do, which is get to the quarterback, but I don't really know what Damone's doing as a running back because I'm focused on you, but you know exactly what you had to do to be able to get free here. Um, well, early on, I, you see, I started creeping up a little bit. Um, so this blitz, it was a lot about timing, you know, kind of wanted to be like a boom boom type thing you see me and Damone like by the time I get to the level of the back he's like right behind me you know so if I didn't make the sack or the back came and picked me up you know he would be the one that'd be the free uh the free rusher and so um I try to time it up you know I actually start pointing to the ball hey watch the ball watch the ball and I'm creeping up a little bit you know 
know, not much to give away. <laughs> uh, but um, I know I have the moment behind me and wrapping around. And so my main job right there, my main focus was to make sure I'm inside this back and he takes me. You know, right. Because I know if he takes me, that he's going to be the free hitter and we're going to get a sack on this play. And uh, so I see the back step up, you know, my angle coming towards the line of scrimmage. You know, I didn't get too tight towards J-Roy, you know, right. J-Roy is another big factor of the play. The fact that he's able to get across, you know, makes that guard have to stay on him, which just expands that lane for both me and Damone. And so um, I stay wide. Sorry. I stay wide on that, and which makes space for me in the back, you know, and make my move inside. And I actually thought I was probably going to get tripped up, you know. I thought they were going to uh, cut early. And uh, I made my move, was able to stay on my feet, and um, end up getting to the quarterback. Yeah, so as a running back, I can tell you, like, the last thing, the thing I'm most terrified of is you beating me inside. It's just it gives running backs nightmares. It, even yeah. though, like, for you, like, you knew you had to get inside this running back, but he doesn't know that. Like, yeah. he doesn't know exactly what game you are running, and so he's terrified that you're going to do that. So when you do that and you make that quick move, mm -hmm. right, he tries to recover so quickly that he doesn't even really see Damone. So yeah. you're right. Like, it's either I'm making the sack because I'm taking this inside move or I'm going to take the back's attention yeah, and Damone's going to make the play. Like, regardless, mm -hmm. this is one where the Tigers are going to win yeah, because yeah. of the way that they played this and the way that y'all executed. Absolutely. That's your first sack as an LSU Tiger. How'd that feel? Now, how many sacks do you have in your college career? Was this, was, was this the first one? I have... Uh, uh, half sack. No, so this is the first one. Okay. Yeah, first full <laughs> sack by myself. Um, man, it was a great feeling. Um, you know, coming into the week, I, I was excited that we were going to be pressuring a lot more. And, right. Uh, I actually slipped on one earlier. I feel like I could have had a sack earlier in the game, and I slipped and got a pressure. But uh, coming off the block, you know, I wrapped up uh, Bryce Young's legs, and I'm like, Dang it, he probably got the ball off. And so I look up and I see the ball on the ground. I'm just like, oh, what we say? Uh, so, yeah, that was dope, man. That was a great moment. That was a great play, great move, great moment, great scheme with sure. uh, you and Damone there. All right, this is something y'all have not shown all year. Mm -hmm. I think a lot's been made of the adjustments you made during the bye week, self-scout. we got to do more. we got to be more diverse. And this is something that is definitely diverse. We have not seen this yet from LSU's defense. Kind of walk us through this formation this alignment you've got you know backers everywhere you've got a zero nose here by neil you've got you walked up on the line i got to assume that's not something you've done a lot of uh i've done a, a a good little bit of it you know coming from clemson um you know we played bigger personnel teams you know they would have me do things like that but uh yeah this year you know if i've had a few snaps you know a couple snaps versus kentucky yeah you know i did some things like this but we weren't you know playing our scheme the way we were playing um you know, here, you know, we know it's a run situation. And so uh, immediately the first thing I'm looking at is that hip of the tackle. You know, my goal in this one is to be as tight as I can, you know, because I have an outside blitz or two here with right. the safety. And so, um, you know, the play, like I said, the play comes back to me because Neil's able to get that pressure, you know. And it probably would have ended up coming back regardless because we have so many guys slanting across. Yeah. But, you know, it happens a lot faster because, you know, Mills, Mills made a wall, you know, right. early on. And so now it's like nowhere really for the back to go. And since I'm coming tight off that tackle, you know, it falls back somewhat right to me, you know. All right, LSU fans, there he is, Mike Jones, linebacker. Going to be a lot of fun to watch him in this defense finish the season. This has been LSU Film Room brought to you by Community Coffee. We'll see you next week. Go Tigers. Tiger fans, stick around because coming up after the break, we dive into all of the highlights from the Tigers versus Razorbacks. And as always, we get some final thoughts from head coach Ed Ogeron. You need more layers, diagonal layers. I gotta run, thanks. Leave him alone, Dad. Oh, honey, you should use ice blocks instead of cubes. No, no, Bud Light seltzer goes on top. Diagonal layers. Did you preach you the Bud Light lemonade? Need more ice. And diagonal layers. I mean, if you're gonna do it right. I don't need my hands getting cold. Why don't you try using a plum ski method? Brings out the citrus notes. Dad? You gotta crush the ice, son. Okay, I'm out. What's his problem? Wait, right. Whenever not packing not the cooler not really, not really not matters, not there's a Bud Light there. We get it. It feels like everything has changed. Masking up, changing demands at work, fewer gatherings. But one thing hasn't changed, our commitment to your health. It's why Our Lady of the Lake Physician Group keeps finding better ways to serve you. 
video visits with one of our providers, online scheduling, weekend hours, and nearly 100 locations where providers know your medical history. Our Lady of the Lake Physician Group, providing you with the best care where and when you need it. Hey everybody, let's have some fun. The time is right, the part is just begun. Have a good time, strong. On game day, Tiger fans know how to bring it. And with best available horsepower in its class and payload, plus with the power of a mobile generator, you can take it all with you. Ford Trucks, let the good times roll. Get 0% financing for 72 months plus 1,000 retail custom order bonus cash on F-150 at your Southern Quality Ford dealer. As humankind faces its most critical challenges yet, the world demands leaders, and LSU is taking up the charge. The research we do here goes everywhere to protect communities threatened by climate change so you can live your life with fewer worries about tomorrow. We're formulating a better way for everyone. Because at LSU, our calling is humanity. LSU Tigers fans, show your pride with real Tigers gear from the official online store, lsushop.net. You'll find everything a Tigers fan needs, including jerseys, sideline gear, polos, t-shirts, hats, and more. With an awesome selection of over 4,100 products, including official team merchandise from Nike, when it comes to Tigers pride, there's only one place real Tigers fans go, lsushop.net. This segment of Inside LSU Football is brought to you each week by LSUshop.net. For the latest in sideline apparel, gifts, and all things LSU Tigers, go to LSUshop.net. It's back home for the first time in nearly a month to start a three-game homestand to finish the regular season. Tonight, the 6-3 and three Arkansas Razorbacks come down from Fayetteville to face your Fighting Tigers of LSU. Sam Pittman and the Arkansas Razorbacks come in tonight as slight favorites on the road. Snap back to Jefferson. Tigers coming after him. Throwing off his back foot. He's going to be brought down. They'll say incomplete. Boy, oh boy, the Tigers. Jailhouse break come right for him. Now it's Josh Williams' turn to run the football. He'll take the handoff, dance around a couple of Razorbacks, and get to the 35, which is going to be shy of the first down. Handoff, Ty Davis Price has the first down and then some. Rambles down to the 30-yard line. Not quite down the center, but close enough. K. York puts it up. The kick is on its way, and the kick is good, and we are tied. Here's a design blitz. Micah Baskerville off the left edge, gets to Jefferson, and drops him down at around the 12-yard line. The motion Palmer at the snap. Nussmeyer with pressure coming, spins away. Gets set, throws towards the end zone, left side. Jump ball, Bench has it, back of the end zone. Touchdown, Fighting Tigers! They bunch four receivers to the right, one lone receiver to the left. That's who they're looking for on the slant, and it's broken up incomplete at the 31-yard line. Jefferson pulls, throws on the slant, going to be broken up. McLaughlin got his hand in there, knocked it down. LSU coming after him. Fanua provides pressure. He'll drop it off in the flat. Going nowhere, Raheem Sanders lost three yards as the Tigers brought the pressure exactly where they wanted to go with the football to Sanders. Nussmeyer in the shotgun. Ty Davis Price the running back. Nussmeyer wanting to throw. Pressure comes. He'll spin away, throw, get it off uh, to the near side. Cole Taylor. Taylor at the 35, scampers up the near sideline, up to the 39-yard line, picks up five. Two receivers tight off the left side of the formation. Handoff, TDP up the middle and goes right over the top of, the, of a defender to near the 30-yard line. Fourth and a yard at the 31. Nussmeyer ready for the snap, calls for it, gets it. Ty Davis Price puts his head down, trying to get inside the 30. Looks like the initial spot from the near side line, Judge, is going to be enough for the first down. It is. Atkins to hold, places it down. Cade puts the foot on it. The kick is up, and the kick is good. And we are tied at 13 all. Empty set. Jefferson again goes to the sideline. 
And again, he will go to Tyson Morris, who can't get free after reaching the 36-yard line. Dwight McLaughlin holds on and brings him down, and they're shy of the first down sticks. And on fourth and three, they'll have to punt it away. So Nussmeyer with one foot in the end zone takes the snap, rolls to his right. Here comes pressure. He's got to release it and throws. And the catch made at the 10. Here's the snap to Nussmeyer. Ty Davis Price off the left edge with room across the 15, the 20. Shoestring brings him down around the 22 yard line. Down to 248. He'll snap the football. Ty Davis Price off the right side. Breaks an arm tackle at the 30, up to the 35. Nussmeyer slings down the field, caught at the 14 yard line. Malik Neighbors trying to keep battling and waiting for the whistle. They're going to say he made it down to the Arkansas 11 and picks up the first down on a gain of 24 yards. Shotgun snap, Nussmeyer throwing to the corner of the end zone, and with the interception, Monteric Brown takes it away. Second down and six, ball at the 21-yard line. Arkansas's turn in overtime. Here's Jefferson again running with the football. Breaks loose one arm tackle, gets to the 20, and clamped down at about the 19 by Cam Lewis. Reed Bauer will hold right down the middle of the field. Placement is down, kick is up, kick on its way, and the kick is good. Um, It, it hurts, you know. Uh, you always want to win, you know. We work our butts off every week, you know, to try to get the results of a win. And, um, you know, it, it's all heartbreaking. You know, the big losses, the little losses, you know, as a team, all we care about is winning, you know. And so um, I, I can't really say you can measure them out, you know, but, you know, it's all just a loss, you know. Just get better, come back next week and try to win. Uh, it, it definitely opened up uh, a lot of things. Uh, we're getting a lot of pressure on the quarterbacks now. Line, you've seen linebackers getting sacked and, and, and bringing more pressure. Uh, it's changing up the look, so we don't, we're not in the same thing. So it's definitely improved our defense. Yeah, I mean, it's just a tough loss, um, you know, especially, you know, my first time getting to actually play, um, you know, for real. Um, you know, I would have wanted it to go the other way, you know, and everybody else would on this team. Um, you know, it's not a one-person game. Um, so, you know, I'm just looking forward to, you know, the next week's coming up and how can we improve and how can I improve? I mean, yeah, I get like, you know what I'm saying? He, yeah, he was emotional, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, man, we want to win, man. We work our tails off day in and day out, man, you know, and I know his time is coming up soon, you know, and he wants to win too, man. He wants to go out with a bang, man. He deserves it. And so, uh, you know, I feel for him. I feel for this team. You know, we, we played a hard sell, you know, it just came up short. Yeah, I mean, it was awesome. You know, I've dreamt of that moment my whole life. Uh, you know, it didn't go the way that I would want it to. Uh, but, you know, all it's going to do is, is make me hungrier, uh, make us hungrier. Um, you know, we'll just keep fighting, keep going. So. I mean, uh, um, the, it didn't go as, as planned, you know, as we wanted to go, but I'm extremely proud of the defense. You know, the second week in a row, we came out and just fought to the very end. But, you know, we just, it's just that one play, you know, that, that we keep falling short of. Yeah, I mean, it, it was a great play call. You know, that's on me. Yeah, I got to make the play. Um, I got to be smarter, you know, and over time I'll take that uh, any day of the week. You know, I can't turn the ball over. You know, we kick a field goal and we keep playing. Uh, so, you know, that's all on me and I'll take it any day of the week. Well, we're all about the people that we care for. Every day we find a way to make your life better, that's what we're here for. Yeah, we're all about the people. We help you take care of yourself. That's what we do. We're here for you with people's help. With no fees or minimums on checking and savings accounts, banking with Capital One is like the easiest decision in the history of decisions. Kind of like... It's looking kind of chilly out today. What am I gonna wear? I think I'll go with... A cardigan. Yep, even easier than that. And with a top-rated app that lets you deposit checks and transfer money anytime, anywhere, is it really even a decision? That's banking reimagined. What's in your wallet?
As humankind faces its most critical challenges yet, the world demands leaders, and LSU is taking up the charge. The research we do here goes everywhere to protect communities threatened by climate change so you can live your life with fewer worries about tomorrow. We're formulating a better way for everyone because at LSU, our calling is humanity. When you support, she soars. When you donate, he delivers. When you provide, they prevail. Since 1987, TAF members have lifted the minds, bodies, and spirits of LSU student athletes, making sure they have what they need to succeed in competition, the classroom, and in life. When you give, they go. This segment of Inside LSU Football brought to you each week by Community Coffee, the official coffee of LSU athletics. I feel bad for these kids, man. I feel bad. I feel bad. I really do. Two weeks in a row. We could have put them in a better position to win. They played their hearts out. Too many mistakes. Three turnovers on offense. Down in the red zone, don't score again. Overall, I think the defense has been playing lights out. I just think the defense has playing, been playing well. Those guys are playing hard, you know, and uh, they're giving everything they got, man. They're older guys. They want to win. They're back in there. They're hurting. I'm hurting for them. You know, just wish we could have put them in a better position. Some guys are playing lights out football right now. I just say, hey, you know, put it on me. It's all I can do. Get them better. Let's look at the film and let's look at the plays that we had a chance. It doesn't always come down to one play. There's a lot of chances that we had to make plays to win this football game. But again, you got to find a way to do it. They did, we did. Yeah, you know, listen, you know, we had a tough opponent last week too. Nobody thought we could play with them either. We did. We just, it's just this is about us, you know, this is about us sticking together. You know, I, that's what I challenge the guys on. It's hard right now. And I told them to stick together. And uh, I think it, the more we stick together and the more we get come to practice next week and, and, and get on a, a good start next week and, and beat uh, UL Monroe and then, then practice as, as hard as we can and then just, you know, just get after Texas a and That's all we can do. Well, first of all, we said we're going to fight today. Not say we're going to fight. They're going to fight. They know i got two weeks left, and we're giving it everything we got. And I, I think the guys are – you know, we didn't put on pads on Wednesday. It was the first time. I gave them a little break, and I thought that helped them. I'm going to keep them fresh, but it's still we're paying attention to the detail. Our coaches are busting their tail, working hard. Uh, they see it from us, uh, and uh, we're going to we're going to finish strong. Whatever happens, we're going to finish strong. That's it for this week's show, but we will be right back here in Death Valley next week for an 8 p.m. kickoff with Louisiana Monroe. I'm Emily Dixon, and as always, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Inside LSU Football presented by Community Coffee. We'll see you next week.